Now the next topic is paper fold or punch out. Pun paper fold, punch or cut. In the questions given below, a sheet of paper is folded. The paper folding is shown like this. Okay. First, the paper is folded like this. Okay. In the next paper is folded. Okay. Let's take a look at the question again. In the questions given below, a sheet of paper is folded and then punched as shown by the figure. So this is what a punch is. When we say punch, we are making a hole in this particular shape. Right? Okay. First, in the questions given below, the sheet of paper is folded by the, as shown in the figure and then it is punched. Okay. If the paper is unfolded, after folding the paper and we have punched and if we unfold it, if we open up the paper, how does it appear? Select the correct answers among the given alternatives. There are four alternatives are given. Okay. Once the paper which is folded and making the punch, we have to unfold it and then we have to see how the punched paper looks like. Right. When we are given these kind of the problems, what we have to do is we have to observe how many folds we are making and how many layers of paper we are getting. So first we have a triangle, when we folded it, it became two, two folds and we have a folded triangle, the folded triangle is here and we were supposed to fold it like this, then number of layers it became four. So the folded triangle, it looks like this, if I draw, if I draw and this is the folded part and where am I punching? This is the folded one, where am I punching? I am punching here, right in here. Okay. So, this is how if I fold a paper, this is how it looks like it has four layers. Okay. One, it is a triangle has two layers and the outer one has a four layer and my punch or a cut that I have made as a triangle is going to be on present on all the four layers. Let me, let us see if I unfold this. Okay. We have to unfold layer by layer. If I unfold this one, okay, it would be a half triangle, something like this. Okay. Something like this and a triangle that was cut here. The triangle was cut here. Okay. When I open up, it becomes a diamond shape. Right. This is a hole that becomes diamond shape. Here it was four layers. When I unfolded it, it becomes two layer. Okay. When I unfold this again, it comes to the same shape. A triangle. Let me write it rightly. A triangle. Okay. This is what it was folded and after that this is how it was folded and here there was a punch. Okay. And if we look at when we unfold it the same it is a symmetrical picture it would be appearing here. Okay. So, if we take a look at the options given, do we see any of the options similar to this? Here, there are two triangles. The punch was done, okay, but it is a diamond here. Here, it is a rectangle. Rectangle is not an option. This is not an option. This is not an option. Okay. Here, there are rectangles. This is not an option. And here, if we see diamond, the fourth option is the right one. In these kind of problems, a triangle when it is folded it becomes diamond when we open the fold when it is a semicircle when we open the fold it becomes a circle when it is in half oval it becomes a full oval when it is a half rectangle when we unfold it it becomes a full rectangle same uh, when it is a square when we unfold it it becomes a full square. So, these kind of rules that we have to be knowing when we are solving the problem. The first one, well, layers, number of layers 
determine the picture how many pictures that are going to come when we unfold it and the second is what is the final figure that is going to be shown on top of the original paper when it is unfolded this is how the problems with respect to punch and or a cut the paper fold punch or a cut is solved next problem in paper fold punch or paper fold cut this three uh, steps are given this is a octagon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight sides are present and there are two folds that are made on this octagon paper the first fold is it is vertically folded then it becomes two layers and it is horizontally folded then it becomes four layers when it becomes four layers there is a cut that is made on the paper in this sh as shown in this diagram so when we make first fold how does it look it looks like this you can try it out with the paper it looks like this right so there is a this this is how it looks it is a four sided picture 1 2 3 4 and half of the side here and the half side here so totally it is five five sided picture and when we fold it back in the horizontal way this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like and after that what we have made we have made the cut here so in this diagram when this has been flipped okay so this is the cut is towards the this side right so the paper fold is flipped and a cut has been made like this okay you have to one thing you have to observe is the cut is not straight cut it is diagonal cut so here it is diagonally cutted and the bulge part also needs to be observed the bulge is outer part when you unfold it the cut would be like this and here the opposite direction the cut would be like this okay and when you unfold it this becomes like this and this becomes like this right so if you look at the options options this one this is not the right one you can rule out this option by looking at the picture directly okay second option it looks the same what we have written here this would be the right option and if you look at this one this is a inward bulge as i was mentioning you have to take a look at how exactly the bulge is present and how exactly the paper has been cut so when you look at the options you may be in a hurry that okay this is a option that needs to be chosen okay so don't get hurry take a look at the picture observe the diagram carefully where the cut has been made it is a straight cut or it is a slant cut outer bulge or inner bulge all those needs all those things needs to be observed carefully so this is not the right option if you take a look at it if we had assumed this is a straight cut this would have been the right option but here it is a slant cut so this is the right option so this is ruled out so make observations carefully how exactly the paper is cut okay another one with respect to paper fold punch or paper fold cut there is a triangle is a paper and it is folded into four layers the first layer is a half triangle it is vertically folded so now it becomes like this the paper becomes two layers right okay then it is folded horizontally then it becomes like this okay and the fold is here 
okay fold is here and the punch is towards the middle and there is a punch here triangle if, we, if i rewrite it properly and to the same size let me rewrite it here okay and i have folded it here so the fold comes like this okay and the punch is happening here and a triangle is happening here when you are looking at this kind of the picture you need to know the position where the punch is happening and also the position where the paper fold is getting ended so here it was two layers here it is four layers in here this is four layers but here the outside is still two layers this is something that very need to be observed this is very very this is very required okay observation otherwise these simple problems can lead into confusions so the first one fold where the circle punch has been made it is a four layers where the triangle has been made it is two layers so when we unfold it it should give only two triangles and because it is four layers it should yield into four circles let us unfold it if we unfold the triangle has to come if we unfold this one okay there will be a punch here there would be a punch here two punches here when we unfold it this side okay there would be a triangle here and there would be a triangle here and there are two punches this is how the punch looks like let us see if there are any options that are shown okay similar to this okay so now if you look at it the option 3 chooses to be the right one always remember that number of layers and the position of the punch and the shape of the punch these are the three things three rules that needs to be minded when you are solving these kind of problems